dear student in this video we will learn about area of rhombus let's start what is rhombus a corridor having all four sides equal is called as rhombus okay you can see that in this figure all four sides are equal okay so here corridor a b c d is a rhombus an area of rhombus is equals to area of rhombus half into length of one diagonal into length of other diagonal and you can see in this figure ac is one of the diagonal of rhombus abcd and bd is the another diagonal of a rhombus abcd so here area of quadratal abcd equals to 1 upon 2 into diagonal 1 that is ac into diagonal 2 that is bd so this is a formula for area of a rhombus okay that is half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 now we will see some question based on rhombus area of rhombus here we have question number one length of diagonals of rhombus are 15 centimeter and 24 centimeter find its area so let's see the solution of this question length of diagonal of rhombus are 15 centimeter and 24 centimeter so the formula for area of rhombus is 1 upon 2 into product of length of diagonals product of length of diagonal means multiplication of diagonal 1 and diagonal 2 that is 1 upon 2 into d1 into d2 1 upon 2 into d1 into d2 that means diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 so we will get 1 upon 2 into you can see the diagonal 1 is 15 centimeter and diagonal 2 is 24 centimeter so 15 into 24 now we can cancel 2 1s and 2 12s so we will get 15 into 12 and 15 into 12 is equals to 180 square centimeter so the area of rhombus is 180 square centimeter now we will see some more sums here we have the next question length of diagonals of rhombus are 16.5 centimeter and 14 14.2 centimeter find its area so the length of diagonals of a rhombus are 16.5 centimeter and 14.2 centimeter now we will apply the formula for area of rhombus area of rhombus equals to 1 upon 2 into product of length of diagonals that means 1 upon 2 into length of one diagonal into length of other diagonals that is 1 upon 2 into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 now we will cancel 14.2 with 2 2 1s are 2 7s are and 2 1s are we will get 7.1 after the cancellation so you will get 16.5 into 7.1 we will multiply this we will get 117.15 square centimeter that is 117.15 square centimeter so the area of rhombus is 117.15 square centimeter here we have next question perimeter of rhombus is 100 centimeter length of one diagonal is 48 centimeter what is the area of rhombus so area of rhombus equals to 1 upon 2 into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 and you can see the length of one diagonal is given as 48 centimeter okay so we will consider AC as 48 centimeter. Now we have to find out the length of other diagonal DB. Okay. Then only we can find out area of a 
rhombus. Okay. So first of all, we will assume ABCD as a rhombus. Now we'll consider the diagonal AC and DB. You can see in this figure diagonal AC, diagonal AC and DB intersect each other at point E. Now we will find the length of AE. You can see in this figure length of AE we will find and length AE will be half of AC. Why? Because diagonals of rhombus bisect each other. Therefore, length of AE equals to half times of AC. Okay, I have taken AC as 48 centimeter. Why? Because length of one diagonal is given 48. So I have taken AC as 48 centimeter. So the length of AE will be half times of AC. That is half times of 48. Now cancel 48 by 2, 2 ones are and 2 24s are. So the length of AE is 24 centimeter. Now we have to find out here length of AD. Okay, length of side of rhombus. And you know the perimeter of a rhombus is given over here 100 centimeter. And perimeter means sum of all four sides. So the formula for the perimeter is 4 into side. Okay, 4 into side. At the place of perimeter, we will write 100. And at the place of side, we will write AD. So we will get 100 equals to 4 into AD. So AD equals to 100 upon 4. That is 25 centimeter. Now we can see that in this triangle, triangle DEA. Okay, you can see in this figure triangle DEA. It is a right angle triangle. Okay, why? Because this angle E is 90 degree. And why angle E is 90 degree? Because diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So now I know the length of AD. It's 25 centimeter. And I know the length of A that is 24 centimeter. So by applying theorem of Pythagoras, I will get the length of DE. So now we will find the length of D using theorem of Pythagoras. So in triangle AD, AED is 90 degree. Why? Because diagonals of rhombus are perpendicular to each other. So now length AD square equals to AE square plus D square according to Pythagoras theorem. That is the hypotenuse square equals to base square plus height square. So 25 square equals to 24 square plus length D square. Okay. Now we'll take the square of 25 that will be 625 length of uh, square of 24 that is 576. Now we'll set 576 to this side of equal to so we will get DE square equals to 625 minus 576. Now subtract 576 from 6 625 it gives us 49. Now we will find DE by taking the square root of 49. Length D equals to 7 centimeter. Now you can see in this figure DE. Okay, I know the length of D. Now I can find DB. Okay, DE will be half of DB as diagonals bisect each other. So DE equals to half times of DB. Now DE is given 7. So 7 equals to half times of BD. So the length BD equals to 7 into 2. That is 14 centimeter. Now I know the length of both the diagonal. I know the length of diagonal AC that is 48 centimeter. I know the length of diagonal DB that is 14 centimeter. So I can find its area. So area of rhombus equals to 1 upon 2 into product of length of diagonals. That means half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2. Now we will substitute value of AC and BD in this steps so 1 upon 2 into 48 into 14 now we can cancel 48 by 2 we can cancel 14 also by 2 you have to cancel any one so you can see i have cancelled 2 1s and 2 7s are now we'll get 48 into 7 and 48 into 7 is 336 square centimeter so the area of rhombus is 336 square centimeter now we have a question number four Length of diagonal of rhombus is 30 centimeter. Its area is 240 square centimeter. Find its perimeter. So now 
we will take one rhombus abcd okay so let abcd is a rhombus now we will guess length of one of the diagonal of this quadrilateral you can take ac as 30 cm or you can take db as 30 cm so one of the diagonal we will take as 30 cm so you can see that i have taken ac as 30 cm now we will find the length of other diagonal that is db how will find the length of db using area okay i know the formula for area of rhombus half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 so the area of a rhombus equals to 1 upon 2 into product of diagonals so at the place of area of rhombus we will write 20 240 product of length of diagonal means diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 half into length of ac into length of bd now at the place of ac we will write 30 you can see at the place of ac we will write 30 so 240 equals to 1 upon 2 into 30 into length bd now you can cancel 30 by 2 or you can shift 2 directly to this side of equal to okay you can do the cancellation or you can shift 2 to the other side and then later on you can do the cancellation so 2 will get 240 into 2 whole upon 30 now you can cancel 30 and 240 you will get 8 so you will get 8 into 2 that is 16 centimeter so now length of diagonal BD is 16 centimeter. Now we have to find out here perimeter of this rhombus. So perimeter means 4 into side. So we will find the length of AD. To find out the length of AD, we need to apply theorem of Pythagoras in triangle DEA. So first we will find A and we will find DE. AE will be half of AC as diagonal bisect each other and DE will be half of DB. Same reason, diagonals bisect each other. So diagonal of rhombus bisect each other. Therefore, AE is half of AC. Half into 30 because the length of AC is 30. Cancel 30 by 2. You'll get 15 centimeter. And similarly, DE is half of BD. So that is half into 16. That is 8 centimeter. Now we can find the length of AD applying theorem of Pytha gorus in triangle aed because in this triangle aed i know the length of a that is 15 and i know the length of d that is 8 so now we'll apply theorem of pythagoras so in triangle ad aed is 90 degree why because diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular to each other so now ad square that is a hypotenuse square equals to base square plus height square so ad square equals to 15 square plus 8 square 15 square is 225 8 square is 64 so ad square equals to 225 plus 64 we will add this ad square equals to 289 so the ad will be root of 289 and the square root of 289 is 17 so ad is 17 centimeter so now i know the length of one side of this rhombus so I can find its perimeter. Perimeter of a rhombus is 4 into side. Okay, that is 4 into length AD. That is 4 into 17. And 17 Forza is 68 centimeter. So in this way, we can find the perimeter of a rhombus. That is 68 centimeter.